Coronavirus lockdown made a Zoom boom generation, reads a headline on BBC News. I actually realized how our times changed when the week after lockdown started, my 80-year-old grandpa joined a webinar I was doing on Zoom. Imagine. Good Vibes, Isabel here. Welcome back to my channel where we come together to help you enhance your awareness on things that matter and live a more free life. In this episode, I'm going to share the most important rules of etiquette when it comes to Zoom video conferencing and other webinars. If you are excited to hear this, make sure you give this video a like and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't subscribed yet and the bell notification so that you are the first to know every time I post a new video like this one. Without further ado, let's get into. Webinars are a very effective means of communication with your audience. You can teach people almost anything during a webinar if you plan everything right. It's really as good as a live in-person event, but without the added hassle of finding a venue, hiring people to help with registration, travel to their location, and of course, the expenses. Whether you are a presenter, co-host, or attendee, it's imperative that you use basic etiquette for webinars. So let's go over some basic rules of etiquette for each category. Presenters. Whether you are using Zoom, Skype, GoToMeeting, or you know any other app, be prepared to practice using the software in advance so that you know that everything works well. How many times you've seen webinars where the presenter is just fussing around trying to get the camera work, the microphone, etc. I mean, there are situations where something can go wrong in the middle of the webinar and that's understandable. Technology can fail us at times. However, you should always take the time to practice in advance to make sure everything is all set to go. Not only that, but I found it very useful in practice to um, rehearse the entire presentation, your speech, your ideas, so that you get more organized. In terms of the presentation itself, if the topic of the webinar is about something people are not used to deal on a daily basis, I recommend using visuals, graphics, PowerPoints even, to help the audience understand the subject better, stay engaged, and have a good experience overall. This will ensure also that you can stick to your timeline and not miss any of your points. Offer tech support. As the host, you should ensure that participants are able and knowledgeable to use the software. Explain in the invitation to the webinar, in the emails, the technical aspects of attending the webinar, including computer requirements and where they can get help if needed. Remember that not everyone understands how to use webinar software and this may be something new for them offer as much help as you can. During the webinar, make eye contact. I know that this may seem impossible due to the nature of webinars, but in fact, it's not that uh, hard. In many cases, when you are being filmed, they say not to look directly at the camera, but in this case, you want to look at your camera at least occasionally, if not most of the time. That will be how you make eye contact with your audience during a webinar. I know it can be very distractive uh, to the audience if your eyes look closed due to reading your notes too much. Remember your body language. Even during a webinar, it's important that you have good body language. You want to demonstrate your openness and honesty. Aside from making eye contact, that would include standing up or sitting up straight using hand gestures carefully and you know not hunching over your desk not having something to cover your face and avoid any distractions in your overall appearance you know like glittery makeup sparkling clothes and so forth stick to the timetable you want to start on time and end on time to show respect for your audience as well as to honor your own time constraints people really do appreciate it when a presenter sticks to the timetable the best webinars that I've attended to and that also offered valuable content are between 35 minutes to one hour. Moving next to the category of co-presenters, uh, here are the go-to rules. Be attentive, pay attention to what your presenter is saying and pipe in when a point uh, needs to be made or confirmed. Take a look at the chat during the webinar in making sure to address any questions or issue 
Uh, also, it might be helpful if you can make in advance a frequently asked question list and you can just uh, answer a potential common question in the chat uh, by already knowing the answers. Show respect. Be careful not to take over. You are in an assistant position and you don't want to take over from the presenter. Consider turning off your microphone to avoid a typing sound taking over when you're helping people in the chat. Plus, if you have to turn on your mic to talk, we'll be less likely to be tempted to take over. Ask the host how they envision your role. That will help you know what is expected of you. Now, getting to the category of attendees. First advice is check your software. Double check to the invitation, uh, the webinar, and make sure you install the software prior to the day of the webinar. You want to ensure that you have no issues so you can give your full attention to the webinar and not um, you know, having to deal with this. If you have questions, contact the presenters prior to the event, giving them plenty of time to respond. Mute your mic. Most of the time, the presenter will have control of the mic, but if not, go ahead and mute your mic so that you will not disturb anyone with your typing or any outside no noises in your surrounding areas. Be respectful. Wait until the Q&A portion of the event to ask questions and pay attention to the event rather than chat about things in the chat window. Even if the chat is available, it's better to pay close attention to what is being presented first. As you can see, basic etiquette for webinars isn't much different from any other social event. Wait your turn to talk, don't try to take over, and most of all, pay attention to what is going on. There's more to hosting a webinar than simply having one. You need to ensure that it's fun, informative, and useful. For example, when people attend a webinar, they know that they'll get a sales pitch eventually at one point in the webinar, but what makes them come back is the actual content outside of the sales pitch. Plus, if they choose to purchase due to your sales pitch, the product must be fabulous. If you offer your audience amazing promises, you need to live up to them. These are my go-to rules when it comes to Zoom etiquette. No matter if you're planning on hosting one or you're just attending, have them in mind for your next video conference. Until next time, continue to stay safe and healthy. And you know, if this is the first video you're watching on my channel, go ahead and press the subscribe button down below and check the bell notification to make sure you stay connected and receive a notification every time I post a new episode.